guys, it's Sam the Statman, coming at you with another video. Now, I know I haven't been posting in like nearly two months, and um, I'm sorry for that. School has been really busy, and I just haven't had much time, so I'm really sorry about that. Anyways, um, happy Thanksgiving, by the way, that was yesterday. Today's Friday, November um, 27th, so happy Thanksgiving to you all. That was from yesterday, but um, yeah, happy Thanksgiving, and... Um, yeah, and I just want to brag about myself for a second. Oh, no. I'm just going to say that I did get the World Series predictions completely correct as the Dodgers ended up beating the Rays in six games, which is exactly what I predicted. So I kind of just want to toot my own horn. Toot toot. Um, for just a second, just wanted to point that out. Um, yep, uh, that was the weirdest thing that ever happened. I did not expect that to be correct. I just wanted to mention that. But anyways, um, today's video, we will be comparing Manny Ramirez and um, Scott Rowland. Now, the reason I'm doing this comparison, it's not real that random, actually, even though these two players don't have a lot in common. One is a 5 to a player, that's Scott Rowland. He can basically do everything, and then Manny Ramirez can basically only hit. And that actually kind of is the reason I'm comparing them. I'm comparing them because one is a 5 to a player, and one can only hit. So I'm just going to see who's better. Another reason is because they're both on the Hall of Fame ballot next year. And maybe this is a little thing I'll do where I'll compare our different players from the um, this, com in com this coming Hall of Fame ballot. So yeah, today it's going to be Manny Ramirez and Scott Rowland. So without further ado, let's get into it. First, let's talk about Mar Manny Ramirez. He had a very good career, mostly on the hitting side. Pretty much all on the hitting side, actually. He batted 312, 411, 585 with a 154 OPS plus. He had 2,574 hits, 554 home runs, and 69.3 um, war. He was a 12 time All Star, two World Series, nine time Silver Slugger, um, World Series MVP, and won a batting title. He was really good at hitting. He's one of the greatest of all time. And even though he did play in a pretty big hitting era, I think that's why his OPS Plus is only 150, only, only 154. Um, compared to what you'd think, because of his insane hitting lines, it would be, it's because he did play in a pretty high offensive era, I think, because, like, some of those stats are, like, better than even, like, Stan Musial. I, I don't know, I just like to compare people to Stan Musial. Like, his slugging is way higher, and so is his OPS, but his OPS Plus is lower. Um... I think he did play in a pretty high offensive era, but those hitting stats are still really good. And um, I think he actually should go into the Hall of Fame this year. Now next, we're going to talk about Scott Rowland. Now, Scott Rowland was a very good player on all things, not just hit. In his career, he batted 281, 364, 490 with a 122 OPS plus. He had 2,077 hits, 316 home runs. Um, he had a 116 defensive run saved, and um, I actually think, I'm not sure, but I think at the start of his career, DRS might not have even been a thing. But that's just from, like, the seasons that are measured. So I bet you count all the seasons that I'm, I'm not actually sure about this. I think I just saw it somewhere. But maybe he had, like, two or three seasons where DRS wasn't invented. Maybe add on, like, an extra 20. What, whatever the case is, he was an excellent defender. Like I said, 116 DRS. Um, 70.1 Ward, he won the Rookie of the Year, was a seven-time All-Star, eight gold gloves, a silver slugger, and he won a World Series with the Cardinals in 2006. So now we get to the hardest part of every comparison review. The time where I have to say, who is better, Manny Ramirez or Scott Roll? Now these two players are very different, but also sort of similar. Like, they're very similar in value. They played the game entirely different. Manny Ramirez just slugged and slugged and slugged. Scott Rowland basically played everything well. I mean, he wasn't that fast, but he did still like a, steal like 100 bases, so that's still pretty good. But that's not really what he was great at. But anyways, who am I going to say is better? These two players who played the game so differently, they played it so differently, but which of these two had more value? Now, the war numbers are almost identical, less than one war apart, so can't really judge by that. Because, he, because even though war is one of my favorite stats, I don't, it's still not a perfect stat. So you can't just say whoever has the highest war wins. Actually, I think I know how I'm going to differentiate these two. They're postseason stats. Now, postseason is a small sample size, but I think it's very important. And plus, I just like discussing it. 
So in the postseason, I'll start with Scott Rowland. He was, eh, he was like okay in the postseason. Pretty bad, actually, batting 220, 302, 376, hitting five home runs. He had a few series where he was like on fire, a few ones, especially I think in the NLCSs. He was pretty good, but overall he wasn't that great. However, in the postseason, Manny Ramirez, you want to know what he hit. He hit 285, 394, 544, and hit 29 home runs. Admittedly, it is a small sample size, and yes, the postseason sort of is a crapshoot, but I think if you have to decide which one of these is better, you got to take into account postseason, and in postseason, Manny Ramirez was better, so I think the winner will be Manny Ramirez. It was really close. These two players are both amazing, and in my opinion, actually, both deserve to uh, to get elected into the Baseball Hall of Fame this year. Um, they're both on the ballot, as I mentioned earlier. But um, I think Manny Ramirez has a slight edge on Scott Rowland. Um, I really don't know. It's honestly that close. Um, but um, thank you for watching the video. Um, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button, and um, if you aren't already, please subscribe and hit the notifications thingy. Um, I will. I hope I will be posting much more, so I think you will be getting a few more notifications from me than these past two months anyways. I mean, admittedly, I wouldn't have to do that many videos because I didn't know in the past two months, but you know what I mean. Um, be sure to subscribe, like, and also comment down below if you thought my picks were correct, if or if you thought that um, Scott Rowland was actually better than Manny Ramirez, whatever you want to say, you can put it in the comment section below. Remember to like and subscribe. I share the video with your friends. And, um, yep, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe. Goodbye.